A Caviria Violet Queen is a popular succulent that looks a bit like a lotus flower. And it's not just a pretty face. This fantastic hybrid is also very hardy and perfect for succulent newbies. The silvery grey rosettes turn light pink or violet when the plant is stressed, most often by cold weather. During the warm months it is very unusual for Violet Queen to display much, if any, pink colour even when exposed to the sun. The biggest influencing factor for the colour change is the cold and time of the year. Here in Australia, Violet Queen colours up almost exclusively in winter and early spring, but in cooler countries with lower night summer temperature, the colour may persist all year round. Individual rosettes can grow to about 15 cm in diameter and 10 cm in height. Violet Queen is a clumping plant and produces many offsets each year, creating dense mounds. Flowers usually appear in winter or early spring and are pink on the outside and yellow on the inside. The flower stalk grows about 20 cm above the rosette and produces approximately 10 to small flowers. This succulent needs exposure to the sun in order to grow compact. It is not suitable for dark shaded spots or indoors. For Violet Queen to grow to its full size and produce offsets, it will need to be repotted regularly into a bigger pot. Rootbound plants will not produce many offsets and may start losing leaves. In pots, succulent potting mix will ensure good, healthy growth. In the ground, Violet Queen will survive even poor soil, but will grow best when the soil has good quality potting mix worked through. In climates with hot summers and regular heat waves, the Violet Queen may need to be shielded from strong UV to avoid leaves getting burnt. This can be done by moving it in the shade for the afternoon or putting a shade cloth overhead. Sun can start damaging plants when the forecast temperatures are about 35 degrees. It is important to remember forecast temperatures are for shade and it is very likely temperature in the sun is going to be much higher. A Caviria Violet Queen is not too sensitive to overwatering and tends not to get affected by mold or other fungal diseases, even when it's humid and rainy. However, the potting mix needs to be well draining. When watering the Violet Queen, wait until the potting mix is dry and then drench well and do not mist. Violet Queen is very easy to propagate from offsets and can grow over 10 pups every season. It is important to let the pups develop a long enough stalk that can be either cut through or pulled from the mother plant. If the pup is too small with little to no stalk, it can fall apart when a separation is attempted. The offsets in this video are now big enough to be taken as cuttings and I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut them off. Make sure your scissors are clean so harmful bacteria cannot get into the plant through the wound caused by the cut. It may sometimes be easier to take the plant out of the pot to get to the pup's stalk. In this scenario, I don't need to do that as the stalks are accessible enough. The pups can also be gently pulled off, but I prefer to cut as sometimes the stalk left behind on the mother plant can grow new pups. I'm only going to take a couple of pups off as I want this plant to grow into a big clump. The pups will now need to be left to dry for at least 24 hours. The wound created by the cut needs to seal itself so harmful bacteria or fungus cannot get in. Violet Queen can be propagated from leaves, but it is not easy and in all honesty, I don't usually bother. First of all, all the leaves can be really hard to pull off and break easily and secondly, they have a very low strike rate. But let me show you on a different, smaller plant. This Violet Queen will be a bit easier to maneuver. I'm now going to take the pot off so I have better access to the most bottom leaves. It has been raining a lot recently and so this Violet Queen is full of water and as a result the leaves break easily. When the plant is dried the leaves are much easier to take off. I've already broken two leaves just by handling and trying to find the best leaf to start off with. Try pushing the leaf gently left and right and then pull out. Sometimes even the gentleness of notches will dislodge the leaf. I'm having very little luck here, all the leaves I'm trying to take off are breaking. To be able to propagate succulents from leaf, there can be no breakages. The leaf needs to come off the stalk clean and undamaged. This one is also no good. Now this leaf has a bit of a wiggle room, so I'm optimistic. 
And finally, success. This is what a leaf that will potentially grow into a new plant looks like. There is a little tear on the side, but as long as the end is intact, the leaf should be okay. But all of this can be done in vain if propagation is attempted in the wrong season. The cuttings will not root and may rot, and leaves will shrivel or rot before any new growth happens. It is incredibly important all propagating, whether it be leaf, cuttings or seed, is done in the growing season. For Violet Queen this would be spring and summer. In climates with warm winters, early autumn is okay too. Once the cuttings wound is healed, it is ready to be potted up. We leave our cuttings for 24 to 48 hours in a greenhouse with a 30% shade factor and solid walls, so they won't get rained on or burned by strong sun. Good quality succulent potting mix is the best potting medium to use for cuttings, in my opinion. Make a small hole in the center of the pot and insert the cuttings. The potted cuttings can be left in a sunny spot in spring, but do be careful when it starts getting warm as fresh cuttings can burn in direct sun over 27 Celsius. Having the cuttings under 30% shade cloth is ideal as they are protected from damaging UV. Succulent cuttings should also be watered regularly as they can otherwise shrivel up and die. Too much water can however cause rot and so cuttings should be only watered once the potting mix dries up. Now let's have a look at pests. The violet queen is susceptible to aphids and mealybugs. Aphids usually appear when flowers start to grow and spread fast. Pyrethrum spray works best on these little sucking pests. Mealybugs are every plant lover's worst nightmare as they are hard to control and difficult to spot until the damage has been done. Squashing, 70% alcohol and regular checks work best to keep mealybugs at bay. Other pests that can attack these plants include snails, slug, caterpillars and grasshoppers. To conclude, Echeveria violet queen is a fabulous and hardy succulent suitable for collectors as well as beginners. The wonderful winter colours make it stand out and it is also incredibly easy to grow and propagate. 10 out of 10. For more information on growing succulent, visit our website succulentgrowingtips.com.